Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny, and today I'm going to be doing a general love reading for the sign of Cancer. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is for Cancer. How are you guys doing? I'm good. Dying of allergies a little bit, but enjoying the weather outside. It's just so nice out here. You might see me jump up a few times because I'm not fond of bugs. But other than that, yeah. Other than that, it's just a gorgeous day. It'd be a shame not to be out here. Cancer, general love reading for cancer. Coming is possible healing. It looks like you might be healing from maybe some bad patterns in the way you pursue relationships. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Like you want to stop these bad patterns that you might have. As quickly as possible from what it looks like to see if that's what this reading is about should be but we'll find out I think it is <laughs> your current energy is looking at bad patterns which is funny the devil which is bad patterns things that might block you um, feeling tied down to something feeling addicted to something you know, all the bad stuff, the, the drugs, the alcohol, the that kind of thing. Um, it could be a person. It could be a person, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. The recent past, I uh, feel like you... You may have reunited with somebody. Um, and, and you let your, your guard down when you did that. You let your guard down when you did that. You re you, you re ugh, I cannot talk today. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> okay. You reunited with someone. And I feel like some truth was told. And it made you comfortable enough to let your guard down. Is what I'm saying. Hmm. Well, right now, I feel like you're going through something that you've been through already. Um... And someone might be extending an apology to you. Hmm. Let's see. Let's clarify the double. Yeah. This is you uh, looking to the past. Maybe not getting over the past feel like something should have ended and it could be that you're that you you brought it back I feel like you brought it back that's why this reunion is here but it did end it did end so I'm gonna take that this this devil here is, is probably a person or a relationship I feel like um, you and this person that reunited here in the in the recent past feel like you guys had every intention of making things work. Um, I see cooperation and willing to learn. Hmm. It looks good. However, there might be someone else involved, but I'm not sure yet. I feel like the other person, even though um, to you they may have been like long-term material, you still kind of saw that they held back. 
still kind of saw that they held back. Even though they were working on this, they, they weren't working on it 100%, not 100%. Someone here did not know if they wanted to be single or not. Someone here did not know if they wanted to be single or not. Hmm. I feel like uh, possibly a decision was made in the past to take things slow, slow and steady, like slow and steady wins the race. That's the energy that is right here. Slow and steady wins the race. More, more. A lot slower energy, but still like headed towards somewhere really good. I feel like someone's maturity here is going to be questioned any day now <laughs> if it's not already being questioned but I feel like this is the person who's going slow like this is the person trying to hold back a little bit I feel like this person is emotionally immature and they really put off this vibe of I've got myself together and I'm not to say that they don't just to say that they're not emotionally there like they don't have that kind of experience they think they do you know like but they don't I feel like um you might be faced with a choice to make a decision on if you want to continue going a snail's pace to victory with somebody who's emotionally immature or if you want to find something that you're completely passionate about and someone who can take care of that and take care of you and, and be this big mighty presence in his own life. Like... Um, I think you want someone who knows where they're at and has lived life and is older and is more mature and is like got his shit together type of energy. And and that's happening because you're taking care of yourself right now. So you're able to make this decision using head over heart. What is that? Anyways, um, the magician, you get, yeah, yeah, four wands. Oh, I'm not even announcing cards. Let me now start now. Um, you're manifesting a very strong connection coming in, and it's gonna. It's going to be a balanced relationship and, and you guys are going to match each other and it's coming in quick and you're the one making it happen because of the way you're looking at things different because of the way you're you're manifesting different. I feel like this was a big lesson for you, Cancer. Mm hmm. Yep. This is going to be someone that you end up working with in the future possibly and I don't mean at a job I don't mean at your own business I mean more like the way you guys will get along is very best friendish you know like on that level of we got each other's back and and I can trust my spouse when when you get together with this next person because that's what you're manifesting right now you're gonna be very happy I can see it Okay, let me get a card for Cancer.
You get find your voice, express yourself, open up, sing out. Let me read that to you. Singing is natural and everyone can do it. Notice how you feel when you sing without inhibition. Raising your voice is uplifting and it builds your core strength. This card is encouraging you to bring more song to your life. If you already sing, step it up by taking lessons, joining a choir, or going professional. If you don't usually sing very often, try to release any fears or judgment of your voice and find your melody. Harmonize with the radio, hum along with the rain, sing whenever and wherever you can until, you, until singing becomes more natural for you. Express yourself, find your sound, and share your beautiful voice with others. That's all I have for you, Cancer. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.